Hey there, so I'm just going to show how to mount a PCA9685 LED driver. So you need some solder paste, I've got some here, um, with a little tip on the end. You need some tweezers to pick up your part, and of course you need a board to put the part on. And the part, there's our part there. You can see it's fine pitched, so how do we do it? Well, what I do is I take my solder paste, and I go on the pad. Excuse me while I look and try and record. And I'm just going to wipe a little bit across those pads. Do our next one. So there it is there. You can see it doesn't look great. It's uneven, but that doesn't matter. So I'm clean our tip. Just going to put some on these other pads here for these other parts. I like to do them all at once. So. I just put a little dot on each pad for these ones. Once they're spaced nicely. The joys of having to manually mount parts when you can't get them. So there is our solder. You can see it's on those SOIC8 pads as well as our PC. So I'm going to turn our board. We'll pick up our part, put it on the board here, you can see it, I'm just going to pick it up with the tweezers and drop it on the pad. So I've just dropped it on there and I'm going to look at it. Slide it around, make sure it's nice and straight and I don't need no magnifying glass, I'm quite blind to be honest. But you just have to make sure it's straight. So you just look at the edges and if it's lined up, you're good to go. I'll drop one of these other parts. And now we will take our hot iron. I'm going to start up our regular solder iron too. And I've just got a hot gun here. It's running at 400 degrees. I don't know the temperature is correct that's what the meter says and the first parts take some time because the heater is heating up but I will just blow across this and watch as it melts if you can see that I think you can and it's starting to melt now if I had a second board lined up, this would have already been heated, but it's a cold gun right now. So that's all we need to do right there. Let's get it all nice and warm. For our next part, just heat these up, back and forth, you can see it's melting. And we're done with our hot air. So now, if we look at that part, you can see there is blobs of solder between our uh, pads, or pins. So that's not good. So what we do is we take our soldering iron, and you can see I've got a fine tip here. Clean it off nice and clean. And we will just drag across the solder across the pads. So let me see if I can do this in tape. Now I'm just pushing on and pulling away from the pins. And you can see they and I clean my tip again, come back, run across them all once more. And we'll go clean our tip again. The other side. Just kind of bump up against it. You can see I'm just going like that against it. So you just do, 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 do. Clean our iron once more. And now, if you look at that, it is good.
So there you have it. Pretty easy to mount one of those parts. And these other ones, they're good to go. Have fun.